the 11 strangest abandoned places in Oregon. 11. The Odd House of Highway 30. Houses with odd designs such as this one usually find themselves inhabited despite their unique nature. We've seen everything from UFO-shaped houses to houses that fold in half, but it's rare to find an older house with an interesting design such as this. We're not sure what they were thinking with the roofs slanting at the angles at which they do, but it's definitely not easy to navigate in the house because the ceiling is so low. The owner of the property this house is located on is pretty chill, so just be sure to ask permission before you go snooping around inside. 10. The Peter Iard, Warrington. The rusting remains of what once was a beautiful ship now haunt the picturesque shores of Oregon's coastline. After viewing some of the photos of what the ship looked like when it first ran ashore, it's pretty incredible to imagine how impressive it once was. Today, however, everything but the front of the ship have either been removed or lost to the sands which are now swallowing part of the hull. Regardless of the shape it's in, there's something that will never cease to be as impressive about it, and it's worth going out of your way to check out. 9. Abandoned Cement Factory, Lime Although graffiti can be a terrible thing to abandon structures, we have to say that we're rather impressed with the street art that can be found within the walls of the abandoned cement factory in Lyme. While many sections of the factory are falling apart, it's not really the structure itself that earns this factory a spot on the list. This place is prime for exploration and photography and abnormally easy to access. We're not sure if it's being watched closely, so be careful if you decide to venture forth. 8. Pirtle Station. Looks like this is the last stop for Pirtle Station, which has been out of commission for quite a while. The train tracks it rests beside are just as abandoned as it is, and age and weathering have taken quite the toll on this structure. It's out in the woods a little ways, but that hasn't stopped people from venturing out to tag it up. Honestly, it kind of looks like it would be perfect for some kind of post-apocalyptic movie. You certainly won't have to worry about anyone coming to bother you at this spot. 7. Battery William Murphy, Ford Columbia While Ford Columbia is surrounded by a state park, there's still something bizarre and creepy about the place. Maybe it was just the weather on the particular day, or maybe there's something to the creepiness. Either way, whether you're a history nerd or just someone who likes exploring old buildings, there's plenty of allure to a place like Ford Columbia. While it may have been left behind by the soldiers long ago, this place is going to be around for a long time to come. 6. Rice Elevator, Boyd There was a time in Oregon's history when you would find elevators like this one all over the place. Slightly different than the more common grain elevator, the rice elevators have a little more height to them. It's pretty amazing to consider how long a solid wood structure like this one has stood the test of time, but it's still going strong. Unfortunately, many of the elevators are on private property, but they're still nice to take in at a distance. Four, the Church of Echo. We've stumbled across tons of abandoned churches, but this one in particular caught our eyes because of its unique architecture. It looks like it should be in the middle of the desert in Southern California, but it makes it stand out in a state like Oregon. While you can't openly get inside like some of the other abandoned churches in the state, it wouldn't be hard to hunt down the owner and get yourself inside. A peek through the window reveals that it would be well worth the trouble to do so.
too. The homestead, Kent. You'll see plenty of abandoned houses and barns rotting away in America's countryside, but it's not every day that you'll see an entire homestead that's been left to the dust. That's the case in Kent, though, where an entire farm sits uninhabited. It literally looks like the whole family just up and left their home, but it makes for some epic photos. You can spend hours looking through the house and the relics surrounding the buildings, so we recommend setting aside some time if you want to look around. You'll be glad you did. 1. The UFO Boat, Collins Beach Well, this is... interesting. It's even more interesting considering the fact that it's right next to a nude beach. You won't find many boats with a rare design like this one, but it's not going to be in the water anytime soon. The unusual shape makes...